You want what? Oh, the picker. Let me let me reveal the um, the level of totem pole. Okay, so Reese, Kirk, everybody, me. So I don't even know who the picker is, and I, I'm being completely honest. I have no clue who it is. So I guarantee you, Reese does. I do not. David, it's easy to say tackling is important in a football game. No. <laughs> but in this one, with Alabama's wide receivers, how they can, you know, make you pay in a hurry. And what about LSU's wide receivers? Absolutely, both of them. Yes, both yes. wide receivers just. Both and, QBs, both skill groups. I mean, it's not going to be – that's not a fun proposition. That's a long night. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's different, though. Like, Alabama's is – you know, they can drop bombs now. I mean, they make, they make bigger plays more consistently. LSU is more death by a thousand cuts. I mean, it's, it really is more, especially when they've played really good defenses, it's been more slowed down big plays, but consistent first downs, annoying, um, play a lot of plays, which by the way, could come into play with Alabama because they're not as deep defensively as you've seen in the past. And I, I remember, I'll never forget the Clemson game several years ago in the championship game. It wasn't their first string defense. They just got worn out after so many plays. So I think that'll be a key in the game. Too. How much do you think uh, Terrell and Anthony coming off the edge will, will be key to kind of keeping Burrow from making some of these plays that he can make with, you know? Have to be, man. I mean, they, they have to play great games. And Terrell, Terrell has a lot of ability. And, and so does Chase on. I, I compare both those guys very similar. You've always seen, like, you watch him and you go, woof, watch him get off the ball, you watch him move, you watch the length, the size. And now the product productivity needs to match that. I mean, they need to they need to play like that. And whoever can affect the quarterback the most out of that group, and don't forget about Raekwon. I mean, he can, he can do that too, whichever can make the quarterback a little bit uncomfortable. And I think it's even more paramount for LSU because two has got a gimpy leg. And I'm not a coach, but I promise you, Coaches ain't telling him to scramble and buy time in this game, okay? I mean, he's fresh off surgery. It's going to be a, bro, be surgical in the pocket. You know, make the right reads, get rid of the ball, don't extend plays too long. It will change. I think the thought process has to change a little bit. So definitely something to keep an eye on. But those guys are going to have to play big on the on the, on the the edges. How much do you think the loss of divinity will affect uh, LSU? I think it's a big loss. You know, you talk about from an athletic standpoint, I think he was the next best guy that could rush the passer for them. Um, so... You know, anytime you lose those guys – by the way, they're not very good at it anyways. They're not good at rushing the passer and getting pressure on the quarterback and sacking the quarterback. They need – that's a weakness of their defense. Their secondary is nasty. I mean, their secondary is really, really good. Like, some of y'all that don't watch college football, Stingley Jr. is – might be the best corner in college football. Right now he's a true freshman for LSU. He's a freaky Friday. I mean, it's unbelievable. Like, un unbelievable. And then you got Fulton, who's the last couple weeks, you watch him and you go, okay, that's the guy I remember who's a lockdown corner. Um, so they got, I mean, they got, and Delpit can play the slot if you need him to, too. It, it'll be it'll be a great matchup of great DBs on both sides against great wide receivers. And you know what? We'll find out which one wins. Like, defense, I, I, I tend to think defense is kind of dead. Like, it's more about you have to be able to score a lot of points to win national championships. And you got some good DBs to put that to the test this weekend in some defense. With all the talk about the offenses, though, how much do you kind of think maybe the defenses could surprise some folks in this not be the blowout or the, the shootout everybody's expecting. Zero percent chance. That's what I think. And I've been wrong a lot in my life. So I just I don't see either defense. This is in the 30s at least. I, I would be shocked if this game is not in the 30s. As a football fan, you've seen these LSU Alabama games over the years. And they, Greg McElroy said LSU played one, one hand behind their back. No quarterback, offensive system antiquated. Are you happy or just excited to see a competitive game where LSU finally has a quarterback in a system that's modern? I'm just excited to come into this game because game day comes to this game almost every year and it's always a big deal. And I 1,000% know as an analyst that LSU has no chance. I mean, we show up and I can give you a million reasons why Bama's going to win and I can't give you any why LSU's going to win. Like, oh, they got a great defense. Oh, they get in the eye formation and run the football. They, and they're not very good at quarterback. I mean, so I think for us it's just awesome because – there's a legit chance for LSU to win this game. And I, I haven't come into a Georgia, or an Alabama LSU game in a hot minute where I could say, like, they can go blow for blow and score a bunch of points. That makes it more fun. Given LSU's resume, a lot of people are saying a loss really shouldn't affect them too much in the whole grand scheme of things. Um, but how much do you feel like a loss Saturday could ruin Alabama's playoff shot? When the committee uses the word eye test, the reason you're at number three, 
and you're undefeated and a loss comes your way, I don't think your chances are really good from bouncing back. Listen, the, but the committee also stipulated a long time ago that injuries were a part of it and Tua's injury might be, you know, a big deal, to, a big part of that. And if that plays a big part in the game, maybe, but Alabama needs this game a lot more than LSU does.